just about What's up, folks? I'm Mikey at 31 folks. here, bringing you Powerhouse Online Dynasty. This is season six. I think it's season six. Yeah, season six. Yeah, we're on season six. Definitely on season six. Notre Dame, Oregon, from a snowy Notre Dame stadium under the lights. Big time game. Trying to make a late season push for a BCS championship game berth. You see the rankings. Let's get it done, Fighting Irish. Speaking of the Fighting Irish, a lot of Fighting Irish players, well, now former um, Fighting Irish players have been in the news lately. Lots of transfers. Gunnar Keel gone. Uh, Devontae Neal gone. Justin Ferguson gone. T. Shepard is in limbo. His academic eligibility is a little bit um, uncertain, so... There are some question marks concerning, well, not including this year's recruiting class, but what was Brian Kelly's best recruiting class to date as far as transfers, eligibility, and all that good stuff. So what does the resident Notre Dame fan think about that? And, you know, it goes with the territory. That's the thing with college football and recruiting classes. You don't really know how they're going to pan out until two or three years down the line. Because out of the kids that you recruit, you know, who knows how many are going to stick. Guys transfer. Guys get kicked off a team. Players get injured. Sometimes players just don't develop and they end up making your kickoff and PAT team. That's just the nature of the beast. You just, you know, hope to keep on stockpiling and you hope that a higher percentage of your blue chippers or who you think are going to be blue chippers are going to hit as opposed to miss. And that's what you do. That's why you just stockpile as many of them as you can. As Notre Dame and Oregon go back and forth here. And someone here wants to get their Rocket Ishmael on. One thing Notre Dame has had, among many things, is a great history of great kick returners. Return men in general. Punt, kickoff return, what have you. Tim Brown, Rocket Ishmael. Golden Tate was a good return man. Alan Rossum, Audrey Denson, they've had a ton of guys who are um, really skilled, good return men. Been a bit of a Notre Dame tradition. But anyway, I go up 14-7, trying to blow up that run. That's the strength of this team this season is the defensive line and the linebackers and the safeties. The corners are a little weak. Probably a season away with the corners as opposed to being able to trust them. Speaking of which, he dials up a nice little wheeler out there, which I'm unable to break inside of. So we're tied up on a little fire screen there. Get my back out into space with bodies surrounding him, trying to get back on the march. Pop the counter. Running out of my custom vertical stem spread playbook and get back on the cutters before halftime. So Notre Dame and Oregon are battling. A little bit of a QB blast there. Good dual threat QB. He's got decent running ratings outside of his speed and acceleration, all that good stuff. And he's a really good thrower. He's got a rocket for an arm. He's basically a faster version of Gunner. And I'm on the march again. Running some play action, running some counter and some base and some off tackles. A little bit of everything. So, back again up 10. And again, that's the theme of this game and the theme of my season is can I get away with these corners out there? They're just not very good yet. They're going to be good. They're just, you know, freshmen and sophomores. So, I'm trying to hang on. I got to pretty much match his offense here. A little bit of um, empty set there. Probably would have been okay if he didn't just click on that guy to use her. Thankfully, he did and moved himself out of position. Trying to run a little bit of a um, speed option there. Didn't run it very well. 
I have to learn how to run that play. I don't run that play very well out of the shotgun. And a late breaking post route gets me back with some breathing room and one curl too many. That time I just had a dude sitting in the sink. Sitting in the sink. In cover two sink. And here I run a speed. Well, this is not a speed option. This is more of a straddle option, but I get the pitch off. But, you know, going back to my corners, they're, you know, pretty good at zone. Pretty good at press. Very, very shaky in, you know, off man. Just not very good. And when you combine the fact that there's no press on the left hand side in the PS3 version, you can see Reckon has some issues. And he's trying to get back into the game here. And again, having problems in man coverage. And a great catch there. She really sold out for the make that catch there, so he's sticking around. But I dial up a nice backside um, seam route out of an empty set and get back on. So my offense is doing just fine. I just gotta, um, you know, hold on. As we see here in the fourth quarter, he's now starting to percolate a little bit. He's got his own little spread out offense going. He's mixing in his quarterback very nicely. This guy slips. That probably would have been at least batted down anyway. I had guys in that area. There's three of them there. You saw nothing there. So the quarterback has some wheels. He's got that dimension. So I take advantage of it and get popped in the mouth there. I do not run the speed option very well. I got to work on that. At least out of the gun. And again, my corners. These corners on an island. They're pretty shaky. And again, he gets left there. And of course, my guys go bonehead on the onside kick, and he gets it back. So he's on the march once again, but this time he throws it right into the teeth of two deep. Can I close this sucker out? No. Pounded there. And just trying to not take any risks, I just run a QB power. And, you know, hope my D can just hold on. Get bailed out here by a holding penalty. As I was playing loose all the way, conceding the uh, run. Get some pass rush. Can I get him off the field and end this sucker? Third and long. And here we go again. These corners of mine. Can I survive the season with these shaky corners? And I somehow get that one back, thankfully. And I take a knee and get the heck out of here. So I knock off Oregon. Hopefully I can get to number two. Got a couple more games left. Hang on. Survive with these, you know, corners on, in space and their, and their adventures and growing pains and get back to a BCS title game. Got a pretty good shot. Just got to take care of business and, you know, go from there. So, hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you all later. Peace.